Hi, I'm Skyler. If you're having trouble with your external Bluetooth keyboard for your Mac, you may want to try removing it as a Bluetooth device, and secondly, deleting your preferences. I'll show you how to do that now. In the upper right-hand corner of your menu, click Open Bluetooth Preferences. Here we see a list of all of the devices that which have been associated or paired with our Mac through Bluetooth. I'll select the keyboard. Right here is a minus button. I'm going to click that. That dissociates the device from my computer. Now, turn your keyboard all the way off by holding the button down. Next, click Go. Hold down the Option key on your keyboard. You'll see Library appear. Click Library and find the Preferences folder. Scroll down. You'll see a long list of com.apple.something. We're looking for a couple different things. This file here, bezel services. Select both of these and send them to the trash. Once you've deleted the bezel services plist file and the lock file, you can empty your trash. You're not going to damage anything in the system because these files will generate themselves again. The next thing you can do is restart your computer. And while you're restarting the computer, once the screen turns black, hold down the Command, Option, P, and R keys. You'll hear the startup chime, and then the screen will go black again and restart. Let go of those keys. You'll have cleared the PRAM, or Parameter RAM. Once you've deleted the Preferences file and cleared the PRAM, as well as disassociated the Bluetooth device from your computer, when it launches into OS X, everything should be back to its base level. At that point, you can use Bluetooth, right up here, to set up a new device. Turn the keyboard on, click Set Up Bluetooth Device, and you'll see it listed here. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.